Hey, all you viewers to play later. How we doing today? Okay, as I knew they were gonna do a while ago when I got my Levi eh, my Leviathan box set. You always know GW is going to roll out starter sets. You know, like they did with um how oh, ninth edition. I can't remember exactly what they called it. Indominus. They rolled out the big Indominus box, all the exclusives in there, and then they broke everything down in later packaging. But took a trip to my local gaming store, Docking Bay 93, and yep, we're going to start with the basic one. So today we're going to take a look at Games Workshop's Warhammer 40k 10th Edition's introductory set. Let's get the adulting out of the way. <clears throat> this one ran me 65 bucks at Docking Bay 93, which is my local gaming store. Wherever I can find it cheapest, I'm going to leave a link right down below. And we're going to pause really, really quick for a word about our unofficial sponsor. Well, hey, all you viewers, to be named later, how we doing today? That's right, Copper Johns is back. He is back, 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 and he's even told me, dude, just let me know when I'm not going to be the unofficial sponsor. Just keep us rolling over. So I think that's really, really cool. But the big reason he is our great unofficial sponsor is, come on, man, you've gone to a gaming store and you're like, ah, oh, let's roll. Oh, my God, the girlfriend's coming in with me. And it's like everybody has Nurgle's rot. The stench with some gamers is ungodly. Copper John's got you fixed up. They've got stuff for your beard. They've got stuff for your hair. They've got stuff for your body. They've got stuff for that beautiful woman who is with you. Or, you know what I mean. I don't even know what to say nowadays, but your beautiful better half. Check them out. There's going to be a link down below, and there's also going to be a discount code moving forward. It's my good friend's code. I don't make a penny off it. Don't want a penny off it. Won't take a penny from him. I just asked him if we could use his affiliate code over here on the channel, and he was good enough. So like I said, check them out. They've got something for everyone, and let's help defeat Nurgle's Rot. Great company, great guy. Heavily, heavily, heavily recommend. All right, well, let's get into the box. I mean, seriously, it's been sitting around here until filming day because, yeah... I wanted everything as it was, so we're basically doing a, kind of like a live unboxing. All right. Oh, they didn't do what they did last time. Okay. With the ninth edition, they gave you, um, the box was a piece of scenery. So, uh, you go down there. Okay. Yep, that's what I figured. Okay, so you get um, a handbook, which is basically them guiding you through everything, getting started, how to assemble things, um, how to paint, you know, reading up a little bit about Space Marines, giving you an introduction into the universe. <clears throat> so you got that and the nids, which because they are the stuff in the boxes and they're teaching you basically how to play really, really quick. Oh, okay, cool. I totally forgot about that. Get a play mat, which is cool if you don't have, like, a set tabletop terrain stuff going on in your house and you need to do floor hammer like some of us have done before. That's cool. But little play mat. I forgot about that. They do give you paints and a paintbrush in here. So, let's see what paints we got. Wasn't expecting anything great, to be honest, for the paints. You get a starter brush, so you get a paintbrush, which brushes are always good. Trust me. <laughs> You're going to need paintbrushes. Come on. Screw clipper. So, hey, that's not bad. <laughs> now, <laughs> okay. Ah, my camera. Anybody surprised? Like I said, I didn't expect a lot of variation for paint. You get five. <clears throat> so you get Wraithbone, and that looks just like... Wow. Yeah, you're, <laughs> that's going to be going on a Vortex mixture here really, really soon. Go figure. McCrag Blue because, well, the blueberries are like the poster boys for everything. A bad in black. Really, really useful black to have. Ah, Balthasar Gold, which is cool. I use a lot of that. And Nagaroth Knight. So I can see where they probably want you to paint your bugs in like a purplish color. But, okay. You get your bases, and of course these are going to be push fit. I should have known, should have known. Ah, uh, must be the dice. Yep, 
So you get six of their legendary white dice. They're either going to roll really, really good, or they're going to roll really, really horrible. I mean, come on. We, we all know about those dice. We all know about them. All right. Interesting. Okay. Oh, cool. That's kind of like the little scenic thing inside the box. Get a measuring um, tool. And Flamer Marines, I believe you only get five. And I think you get a bunch of little, you know, tear nits. Which is going to be interesting, seeing how I don't play Tyranids. So I'm probably going to give these away like I did from the Leviathan box set. But I am going to keep one. Because I don't know if you saw that um, Duncan Rhodes video, you know, All Hail the Lord of Painting. That he did um, High Feet Clendathu. So he did a Tyranid after one of the bugs in the movie. So I want to try that out. Might be interesting. Okay. Do I think this is a great kit if you're just starting out? Yes. It's going to give you the very, very basics of the game at a really affordable price. Considering the paints, the paintbrush, and the sprue clipper alone is going to run you, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks easily depending where you buy it. All right. Um, if you don't want to do Marines or Nids, you can always trade them. Trust me, any Space Marine player would always love to have more. I mean, Terranids, come on. They're everywhere, they're everything. They're, you know, trying to eat the whole universe, for lack of a better phrase. 